Hi guys, Edel Neil is here from Be Well. So we just want, we just wanted to share a little conversation that we had the last night post um, run. Uh, I was discussing with Neil is just the the sports psychology behind what was going in my head towards the end. So the last five k I felt was murder. My head started playing tricks at me. My body was feeling tired, obviously, but I feel like my head gave way. And I did say to Neil is like I feel like my head just didn't allow me, and I felt like there was an anchor pulling me back. And Neil has mentioned to me about fear and doubt and how it drained me so i just like neil is to share kind of the tips he had about that and what was going on yeah when we got home as we we're just chatting during the week just came up with general conversation and fear and doubt were her first few words i came into her so emotionally the fear took over and you know the doubt started kicking in where you know start to doubt yourself or fearing that we're not going to get to the finish line because running cycling is um, all the individual sports it's just you against that certain sport especially with running half marathon full marathon it's just you and the road okay there's other competitors around the place but it's still you against the road so i did mention fear doubt okay can i do this you know it was anna ruchi knew f she was very familiar with but she started wasting that conserved energy energy she should have to get her through to the last five or seven K that's going on. So her head just took over a small bit. She was in the way she was talking. Physically, she was in good, in good, in good shape. But again, she just started wasting that small bit of energy that you should have conserved for the last five to seven K. So what we kind of do, um, we kind of create this kind of parallel universe, as I call it. You know, the doubts are over here. We're not being present in any given situation. So what I kind of told her to do is she signs up for another marathon or half marathon or whatever else is coming up. You know, deep breathing. It brings us back to present state at all times. You know, I know you're breathing heavily on the run and stuff, of course, or cycling, whatever. But one brief deep breath, or even two or three of them, will bring you back to the present state of mind. And I've often said to you, Dale, you know, when you get to that kind of stage, even just keep you present. Start counting your steps. You know, one, two, three. You know, just to keep you in the motion. Okay, my legs are doing the work here, and I'm just being present to get to the, the last 5k of the run and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, because in my head, I was like, I was ahead. I was like, oh, I'm at the finish line. Now is that talk waterfall? Uh, um, but you're right. If I just concentrate on each step and my, my breathing and that awareness of self and mm -hmm. there in the present time, it would have done me way better. Because even she mentioned, you know, she was getting closer to the home and stuff like that. And the crowds were there and stuff. And, you know, the crowds kind of got you back up a small bit, you know, cheering mm -hmm. you on and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So in, 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 in sports and team sports as well, a lot of people can feed off the energy of crowds, but other sports people get turned negatively, negatively towards fans and stuff like that, roaring at them and shouting at them. But it did, did mention that the crowd, you know, kind of helped you along, encouraging you And it was the runners stuff. as well. There was a lot of mm. runners. I don't know who you were, but oh my God, amazing. They were like, come on, come on, come on. Um, uh, but my head, my head was just pulled. Yeah. It wasn't there. And as I said, that's, the doubt and fear just kicked in a small bit. Um, again, because we do question ourselves. You know, of course we do. Mm -hmm. We're human beings. We're, we're a species, as we say. So we do kind of question ourselves. What am I doing it for? You know, this is a route I'm familiar with. You know, I should be getting home and stuff like that. So the doubt, fear crept in. And those emotions just took over and stuff like that, basically. And we're wasting energy on it by just, you know, those thoughts that ran into your head and, and stuff like that. And I suppose like a that. good way to recap is I said to you, what do I do with this slide? Do you know what I mean? You just learn from it. You just move mm. on. Massive buzz afterwards. Oh, my God, we went out that night with some great crack. One of the best days of my life. Yeah. And I'm going to take that. And the next time when we're going to sign up for it's the quest. It's the experience quest, you learn from um, it. And it's brilliant. So instead of looking at that negative last 5K, mm -hmm. um, using it as like, yeah, let's bring on the next yeah. one. Let's go forward. And like, before we go, even the first thing we chat about the last night again, as we mentioned, it did mention the negative side of it. She didn't bring out the positive side that she, you know, you completed the run. Mm -hmm. We all, because we get, again, the fear kicked in yeah. again, you know, the negative bias kicked in and stuff like that. Or, you know, the fear of doubt. Besides saying, geez, I achieved that, you know, and I did a half marathon and stuff like that under two hours, which, you know, which was huge. Mm, massive. And again, we didn't focus on the positives because it's mm -hmm. very easy to focus on the negative side yeah. of things when our thoughts run away from us. So deep breathing is very, very is is a is, is a great way of bringing you back to reality, and staying present in that moment of time. And thank you, Neilus, because that okay. really helped. So okay. guys, thanks for watching and. Uh, Follow us on our mission for quest. We're all going to hopefully join it. Well, we are joining. We are. Yeah. Um, I'm so even indulging we... myself now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be sharing lots of fun stuff and tips along the way, guys. So talk to you See soon. You